Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, we are going to do the pattern called Facet, F-A-S-S-E-T. Facet, E-T. Um, but instead of doing triangles, we're doing it on our uh, grid. If you want to know how I drew this grid, go back to Monday's video, the one for cubing. Um, all week we're using the same uh, curvy grid shape. Um, basically, for facet, you're supposed to do triangles, and then inside each triangle, you just aura it, and then when you're done, you draw a line through each corner and add shading. That's all you do. Um, we're just going to try it with this shape, and we're just going to aura whatever comes up. Instead of being triangles, it will be mostly sort of a curvy rectangular shape but that's what we're going to do I'm going to turn on my light so I can see you guys can you see that grid there you go there's the grid we're starting with all I used was a compass put the point of the compass here went this way put the point of the compass there went that way that's how I did it you can draw it by hand however you want to do it So, let's start with drawing the grid that we already have down here, so you guys can see it. And basically, you'll be able to see what I have here. My, um, on this one, my distances apart from each line are not equidistant because I didn't measure anything on this particular one. The other two I did measure, um, so they're a little bit more, a uh, little bit more uh, accurate, but I don't care. My uh, son keeps texting. He is on vacation with his cousins. They flew into Las Vegas, rented a vehicle, and have now gone to Zion. They are he he just texted me that they have arrived. Zion is... Zion is a special place for us. It really is. Um, it is some place where we used to camp regularly, like almost every summer for a while. Then it got really, really crowded. And we sort of stopped going camping when we started cruising. My son really missed going to Zion. He likes going in the winter when there's fewer people. Winter and spring much better for Zion camping than or visiting Zion. I don't think they're camping. I think they're, I think they're staying at a hotel. Much better. In the off season, and we may have to join them one, one season and uh, do that instead of camping. I don't like camping in the cold. Let's see. What did he just say? Lots of You know what? I do think they're camping. I wasn't sure if uh, they were camping or not, but I do think they are camping. Okay, then. They're young. They can do these things in the winter. Okay. 
I am just going to pour up each of these shapes. Just like that. And then draw lines from the corners. Just like that. And however many shapes we have is what we end up with. Some of them may have oddball, oddball shapes. My um, husband's parents uh, well my whole my husband's family they uh, Zion was their their place to go um, his parents honeymooned in Zion uh, I think I'm going to do this in a triangle, even though that's not the shape that's there. I'm going to put it there anyway. Um, and and his family went camping to Zion regularly most summers. And then our family continued that with with everybody, like like when my husband's uh, siblings all grew up and had kids. We all went together, got multiple camp spots, and, and Zion was our place, you know? Um, it's got a lot of good memories. His grandma and grandpa would come in the motorhome, and when they got too old to use the motorhome, they would just stay at the motel in town um, it's got lots and lots of good memories there. I'm pretty sure there's another with it as squares that's called something besides facet, but that's what I'm that's what I'm going with here. And we're just gonna go mostly gonna have three, but if the square is big enough for four, we'll do four. And then we're gonna fill in there, do some shading, you know. This is just easy. Another one of these ones that is just easy to do. It just gives you time to just not really think about much of anything. Zone out. Let your mind just wander. These are the times where your mind can, can think about maybe 
maybe the stressors in your day and figure out how to how to solve some of the uh, world problems that your mind has, you know? It's kind of like sleeping while you're awake for your brain. It really does do some awesome things. quiet on you guys again just because that's what happens when I get into this Zen zone when I'm not doing a pattern that's difficult when it's just a pattern that I, it's just easy brain doesn't have to think a whole lot that's when I get into that Zen zone really really enjoy this part of drawing I hope you do too if you're drawing along with me thank you for being here thank you for being one of my subscribers I appreciate it a lot I know youtubers say that a lot but that's because we really mean it means a lot to us but you know what I would be doing this anyway if there was just one of you who wanted to draw along with me then I'd be here for you you know we might not have the schedule we have now we might do it less But I would be here if you needed me. We're just hanging out together. Me and 30,000 of my closest friends. Of course, we're not all hanging out at the same time. There might be 30,000 of you subscribed, but there's really only really only about maybe a hundred of you that watch as a regular maybe 200 that's about how much I get of views on each of my videos don't have that many people actually watching but that's okay the people who do watch I appreciate you. I think maybe this looks better as triangles. But you know what? I've never done it as a square. And we're just hanging out, living our life here, figuring out what what we want to do with this shape, right? Oop! I got that one in a wonky way. Let's see what this one does. some f spray fixative on that last um, drawing I did it's it, 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 the, the spray fixative is not the best thing for breathing here I 
did spray it outside. I didn't spray in here. Just just the uh, having it, but I didn't. I can't leave my art outside because it is cold and windy and a little bit damp. It's supposed to rain tonight, so I didn't want to leave my art outside. Just the the fumes from that. I think they're starting to get to me. I'm getting a headache. So that's good. We'll just finish this off and then come in the house and be done for the day. That's okay too. One week. I like to try to get one week's worth of drawings drawn in one afternoon. On my day off. This is what I like to do. I like to hang out with you guys. And draw. Some of them look weird, and I don't know why. This is my middle. This is my middle. Maybe I'll come and find my middles. Because that might help me. Find where I'm going to shade as well. Yeah, I've lost the plot over here. Something doesn't look right. Um, Definitely need to fill in my middle bits as I go because I'm losing them. Missed one. Okay, that looks better. That looks like I've found found the plot again here. All right. Oh, that one's gonna be hard. Okay, let's let's skip that just just for now.
just watch me go round and round in circles. Okay, let's do a memories thing. It's one of these ones. Conversation starters. Come on. If you could create a life-size version of any board game, which would you choose? Ooh. That's an interesting question. Uh... Lots of people have those giant chess boards. Um, board game, board game. Would Shoots and Ladders be a fun board game as a life-size version? Probably. You'd have slides. You'd have ladders. You'd have fun, colorful squares with, like, lollipops and things. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I think so. Okay, now we're going to we're going to first do this shape because I think that'd be the easiest of the shapes to complete because it's a triangle. And then this shape. Interesting shape. Ended up sort of kite like shape here in the middle. works.
Sorry, I've kind of zoned out again, haven't I? Yep, I have. Because I'm just having so much fun. I think, how do I want this to be shaded? How do I want it to live? I actually think I want it to live this way. it in curved grid squares and then I'm going to I am going to use green color. Just because. don't know what I'm doing. I'm just adding this kind of a soft green color, but I'm putting it in weird spots. I was doing it in a, in a more orderly fashion, and now it just seems to be going wherever it feels like, which is okay, but that's not You guys can't even hardly see it. Maybe. We use a darker one. You know what? I'm thinking maybe this olivey green gray, which is back here. Oh, nope, wrong direction. Back here. Back here with the browns. dark bits. Looks like a puffy, a puffy thing.
something like that. Give it just a little, little dimension. And why don't I care if I'm doing it like super exact with my coloring? It's because your eye just kind of fills in anyways. Your eye will, will fix it. So I don't have to be perfect. Sort of impressionistic, you know? I like it. I like it. There we go. You guys have a great day. Sorry I wasn't overly chatty today because, you know, I was just having fun. I'm enjoying myself and just letting myself go and 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 think and not uh, not chit chat. All right, you guys have a blessed day. I will see you guys on the next video whenever that will be. Let's see when will that be? That will be the 25th of March. It will be the week before Easter. Um, once we hit Good Friday, then in April, the videos will go to uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays instead of Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the month of April. Um, and then we'll get back into things once uh, vacation month is over. I'm taking some time off. Um, but I don't want you to be like completely without videos, so I'm going to cut back. I'm going to try to go ahead, do do my thing, get things uh, organized, and get you all ahead of the game. And then for most of April and maybe into May a little bit, we're going to do uh, two videos a week instead of three. And then we'll go back to three videos a week once I am all done with vacation brain. Because, um, you know, vacation does it to you. Sometimes you need a vacation from your vacation when you're taking a long vacation. So um, I will see you guys later. Have a blessed day. Do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place one person at a time. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.